fantastic. Where's Glasgow? There she is. She's made her seat there to trick me. Uh, well done. Excellent. Now, where's the man who's Pat Sharp, Village Green? There you are. I see you trying to move there. Uh -huh. Did anything happen in the interval that I should know about? Anything interesting? No, Jesus, that was fucking boring, wasn't it? We're even a bit of gossip, lads. Uh, do you know what they say about the funky fish? If you can't pull here, you can't pull anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we actually have a couple who met in here and got married. <laughs> Funky fish. Funky fish. Uh, because, uh, I, you know, I'm single at the moment. It's a funny response, isn't it? Uh, single at the moment. Uh, I, love, I love that expression, I'm single at the moment. Like, any minute you're going to be snapped up. <laughs> single at the moment. Um, but the promoter said to me, Louise, please don't mention that you're single because there might be a stampede. <laughs> The doors are locked, lads. You're going fucking nowhere. <laughs> uh, does anybody here go business networking? Business networking, go to these vacuous, horrible meetings. Uh, my boss said to me last night, uh, Louise, will you go to, uh, do you want to go to this event? No, I hear the event. I think free booze, free food, and the chance of drunken breakdancing at the end of the night. <laughs> like yeah hell yeah I'm in yeah he said brilliant it's breakfast network and you need to be there for six o'clock in the morning <laughs> 6 a.m. who wants to talk business at 6 a.m. who wants to talk about anything at 6 a.m. I have a actually I have a very strict no comms policy before nine <laughs> if I get a text at half eight I'm fucking raging <laughs> And I'm responding, you are on your last warning, mum. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, so, uh, I, but, so my boss said, are you going to go to this event? And I said, six o'clock, why don't they just make it four or five and then I can just walk right in from the nightclub? Yeah. Mm, just get the night bus straight in there. All right, I will be stinking of booze and kebabs, but my capacity to talk shite will be outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the event, I went for the event, and I think the worst thing at the beginning is the casual mingling, you know? Oh, it's just sober socialising. <laughs> it will never catch on, lads. Never catch on, it's horrific. So you go and you join a group and you're like, hi, my name's Louise, hi. <laughs> hi. And you just nod your head a lot and you're like, oh. And you're like, really, Barry, a dry rot specialist? Wow. <laughs> Fascinating, Barry. And yeah, Olivia, I agree. I don't think people do understand that you need to spend £30 for a decent bottle of wine. <laughs> It's obviously a hove event. Uh, 30 pounds, but 20 pounds. At this point, I'm holding my breath and hoping she doesn't smell the fumes from last night's Lamborghini. Um, but I think that's cleverly disguised by the red cabbage and chilli sauce. <laughs> oh, she's a classy one. But I'm standing in this group of people going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just waiting for the bit where you can talk and dominate the conversation with whatever shite that you're selling. You know, hi, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you hear yourself. It gets to you and you hear yourself and you want to punch yourself in the face. <laughs> Horrible. Um, and the, so it came a, uh, the breakfast came out and there was one sausage, one egg and one bit of bacon. 10 quid, 10 quid. Brighton portion control at play again. It's like in this city when you pay 15 quid for a roast and they come out with two fucking roast potatoes. That makes me living, lads. Two roast potatoes, the cheapest fucking thing on the dish. And, but, do you know when they bring it up to me and those two roast potatoes, I go, oh, love, no, sorry, I don't think that's mine. I ordered an adult portion. <laughs> 
yeah, I'm that person. All my mates are like, just move away a bit, move up from her. Um, but I hate it. So the breakfast is it, and so I am munching away at my gut buster uh, breakfast, and this guy next to me keeps on interrupting to talk about business. <laughs> In hell, I was like, can you not see I'm busy here? <laughs> So what I did is I let a bit of sausage fall out of my mouth onto the table. <laughs> they kind of got a hint from there. Uh, do you know they have a, that these things, they have a strict policy that only one of each profession can go. They're very strict about it. Uh, I imagine if two life coaches turned up, there'd be a fucking riot. <laughs> imagine two life coaches in Brighton at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the guy next to me, inform breakfast interrupter, informs me that he's a holistic therapist. Of course you are, darling. Holistic <laughs> therapist. And before I could stop him, I, I, before I could stop myself, I was like, no way, I'm a holistic therapist. <laughs> he was holistically raging. <laughs> Uh, and then it came a uh, the business of the day. So the first guy stands up and he's like, oh yeah, uh, James Sussex Dry Cleaners. Uh, we specialise in duvets, leather. Bet you do, James. <laughs> and wedding dresses. <laughs> Who needs a clean wedding dress? Ash, just where are you going to wear it? Funky fish on a Saturday night. <laughs> this is what you could have got. <laughs> you know, it's just ridiculous. And he concludes with, if, if we don't know, if it stains that we don't know about, it's not worth knowing something like this. And I was like, right. He said, any questions? I put my hand up and I said, James, how would I get my period pants to look like now? <laughs> Legitimate question. He ignored me. Oh, he ignored me and Loopy Lou jumps up. She's like, I'm a children's entertainer. Do you know the last time I did this? I wrote this material a couple of weeks ago and I did it and somebody went, I know Loopy Lou. She's actually a mate of mine. I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> but she was like, she was on, you know, steady. She was, oh. And she jumped up to the middle of the floor and she emptied a bag of hula hoops in the middle and she started dragging people up in suits. You know, in suits and high heels to hula hoop. <laughs> because the event wasn't quite awkward enough. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. She eventually sat down, the last guy got me, and he was going, Oh, yeah, uh, my name's Alex, and I specialise in conservatories. Because everybody's an expert, or they specialise. And then he whipped a, a, <laughs> a framed photo of a conservatory and handed it to the guy next to him so that he could pass it round the room. <laughs> so, oh, ooh, it's a conservatory, yeah, ooh. Oh, it got to me, ooh. I know, I know some of you out there are going, she's Glaswegian, she's no faking idea what a fucking conservatory is. <laughs> well, actually, I do. It's not dissimilar from the greenhouse that I grew up in. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I could see it was coming to my point and I was getting a wee bit scared. I was like, oh no, 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 it's me, it's me, it's me. Because I'm dead shy. Um, so I stood up and I said, hi, hi, my name is Louise and I specialise in dry cleaning, fine wine, dry rot, children's entertainment, conservatories and holistic therapy. <laughs> So much if I can help. And actually, now I have now been banned from all Sussex networking events. 6 a.m. I'm gutted, lads. Gutted. So, <laughs> so, are we ready for our first act on this half? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what we're going to do is just so we're getting the air in the room, lads. Energy in the room. We are going to start at this lovely lady here. What's your name? Jane. Jane. Jane is going to start a Mexican wave. Woo! Woo! We're going fucking crazy here, lads. We're having it. So, 
a Mexican wave now. What I don't want to see, look, Jane's even kind of limbing it up for that. I like, I like this woman's enthusiasm. Now, what I don't want to see, lads, is this half arsed. If I see that, I'll make you do it on your own, yeah? So, big woo! So, starting to Jane. One, two, three, go, Jane! Beautiful. And welcome to the stage! Are we ready? And welcome to the stage! John! <laughs> 